suction. When is it necessary? And how do tests word it? I'm going to tell you right now, tests love the adjective gurgling. Yeah, gurgling, man. They love that shit for whatever reason. They always use it, which is good for us, right? If I'm somebody that's that's trying to study for an exam and I'm like reading this test question, the second that it says gurgling, your head needs to go, whoa, hold on. Let me go ahead and suction. Okay, that's what they're trying to get you to. They're trying to get you to suction. Now, what tips should I be utilizing and how does that change? Remember, we have two different styles of tips. We have hard and soft tips. Hard tips are known as yank hour tips. Soft tips are known either as whistle tips or as a French tip. French and whistle tips are, are the soft tips. Now, with regards to which one are you going to pick, this is how I want you to memorize it. If I can visually see inside the patient's oral pharynx, I open the person's mouth, I can see what I'm looking at, I can go ahead and use a hard tip, suction tip. I can go ahead and suction it out. If I can't see it, meaning I'm going through the patient's nose, I'm going through a patient's stoma, I'm going through a patient's ET tube. I can't see where I'm suctioning. I will always use a soft tip. How long should we be suctioning? If it is an adult and I'm using a yank hour tip, it will be up to 15 seconds. If it is a pediatric with a yank hour tip, I'm suctioning up to 10 seconds. If it is a infant with a yank hour tip, I'm suctioning up to five seconds. If I am suctioning an advanced airway, it will be up to 10 seconds. Why, why do they put time frames on these? because we were trying to limit hypoxia. That is it.